we have a decent amount of evidence that suggests that people who have regularly been using cannabis over the years, specifically since adolescence, tend to have a lower body mass index, a smaller waist to hip ratio, and improved metabolic health, aka they tend to be a bit skinnier. And this new paper that was just published might actually divulge the reason why. This study is titled Adolescent's Exposure to Low-Dose THC Disrupts Energy Balance and Adipose Organ Homeostasis in Adulthood. Let's dive into it. Before we get too deep into the weeds here, I think it's really important that we remember and focus on the fact that all mammals, including us and including the mice in this study, have an endocannabinoid system. That system that THC can interact with and activate to cause a variety of different things happening in our body. Your endocannabinoid system controls almost every process in your body, including the regulation of fats and metabolism and energy, which this paper is gonna focus on. So keep that in mind as we're reading this, but I think it's interesting. One of the first studies or one of the first experiments that these authors did was looking at both female and male mice and exposing them to low doses of THC, which was five milligrams per kilogram of body weight, and seeing if compared to the control animals, if the animals that were dosed with THC had any buffering of the ability to gain weight. So did they gain the same amount of weight of the control animals or did they gain less weight, etc.? And what they found was both male and female mice gained less weight compared to the controls. Now, here's a little issue I have with this paper is after this first experiment, the authors don't touch female mice again. They only focus on the male mice for the rest of the metabolic studies. Unfortunately, this is really common in animal studies. There's less variables when studying male mice versus female mice, so that tends to be the focus of future studies. Um, and specifically when we're looking at fat homeostasis and energy metabolism, this is gonna be really different between the sexes, uh, between male and female mice and humans. So unfortunately they didn't dive too deep into that, but that's okay. So these initial experiments have a control group of mice and a dosed group of mice. The dosed group of mice comprise both male and females, and all of these are adolescents. So with these adolescent mice that were given the same diet, the ones that were fed THC gained less weight compared to the control animals. Great, cool, awesome. That is cool in itself. But where it gets really cool is they also took adult mice and fed them THC compared to a control group of adult mice. And in this experiment, there was no significant difference, meaning it had something to do with these animals in adolescence. The authors hypothesized might be the case here is that at young ages, when your body's still developing, your fat cells are still developing in the different types of fat cells. So you have your brown adipose tissue and your white adipose tissue, and they're still developing. But if we activate the cannabinoid receptors on these fat cells while they're still developing, this is what could cause some potentially different ability in metabolism and regulation of fats within these mice bodies. After they stopped dosing the adolescent mice and they started to grow up, what the authors found was something pretty substantial, is the mice entered what they call a pseudo lean state, meaning they had about normal body weight, but they had less fat mass and more lean mass and partial resistance to diet induced obesity. But that's not the crazy part. The actual crazy part is that they found that these adult mice that had previously been dosed with THC during adolescence had an overexpression of proteins that are normally only found in the heart and the skeletal muscle, not in the fat. The reason this is called a pseudo lean state is because it's not really a healthy state that we're trying to be at. Now, we don't know the full implications of being in this pseudo lean state, but essentially what it's saying is that, yeah, from the outside, both these, these mice and probably us, we look really healthy. We look like we're within that BMI and, you know, we're healthy individuals, but the issue is 
our fat cells have a certain purpose that they need to be doing and administration of THC at a young age could actually affect the ability of your fat cells to do what they should be doing, which is called uh, thermogenesis or creating heat from your fat, well as the ability to break down fats. Now, we don't really know what this means for your physical, emotional, or social health, uh, but we do know is that stoners tend to be skinnier and it is likely due to the mechanisms talked about in this paper. When you use cannabis in adolescence, it really shifts the purpose of your endocannabinoid system in those fat cells, and that has lasting effects through adulthood. So... Of course, we need more research on this subject, but this is really an important paper that finally puts into words what I think a lot of physicians have noticed and a lot of previous papers have hypothesized to. And now it's really figuring out, you know, what does this mean for our general health and well-being? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this. I have a new podcast coming out soon called Bioactive, where we're going to talk about cannabis and other natural products, but I appreciate the support and mad love.